My name's Lucy Baldwin and I left Birmingham in 2004 and I went into the city in search of a career in finance. Uh, I started at a place called Casino, which is now part of JP Morgan, working within the equities business. Since then, I went to Goldman Sachs in 2006, again within equity research, where I did a number of roles covering different companies in different sectors. And then I moved into the management team, which was a slightly more strategic role, where I thought about uh, obviously the nature of the research content we were producing at a sort of macro level and a micro level. More recently, I've moved to Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, uh, where I'm working in the broader equities business. So I'm out of my research silo and into the broader part of equities where you've got research, sales and trading. So I'm sitting in a function in the management team where I get to see how those parts of the business interact. And ultimately what we're doing is we're coming up with ideas, research content, and then we're packaging that into actionable ideas that our end client can ultimately uh, trade through us or of course uh, through, through other banks in the city. To become a leader in finance, you tend to have to be a technical expert. So you have to excel in your silo or in your sphere. This is slightly changing as the world becomes more integrated and more global uh, and the silos have to work together, but ultimately you need a very solid technical base. So I became a relative expert in a very small field within research and then ultimately once I was tried and tested I was given more responsibility and over time I was given a team to manage to work with and to obviously try and create some leverage uh, and so ultimately that was sort of how my career progressed. I think to be good within finance and to excel in a broad way you need to be commercial, you need to have that technical solid base uh, and you ultimately need to try and be a little bit differentiated think against the consensus, challenge the consensus, come up with ideas that are a little out of the box. And I think generally that's quite well rewarded within finance. I would certainly give very broad advice to all graduates entering the workplace and that is to try and be commercial, that's to try and understand structurally where industries are going, where you can add value and I think you know being a jack of all trades, master of none is important, you have to have that strong core and you have to develop that strong core but you also need to have that breadth and you need to be able to develop that IQ and what I would call your EQ, your sort of emotional intelligence because ultimately in business today with the world changing so rapidly, you have to be able to affect change. And that's not just seeing a problem and trying to fix it, but doing it in a reasonably sensitive and thoughtful way, because often there's a little resistance to that. So you need to sort of develop all skills and be kind of a holistic package rather than just a technical expert. I had three great years here and I was able to sort of combine my academic studies with a very rewarding social life. I had a uh, a vibrant social life here as many students enjoy. It's a phenomenal city so it's a great campus to be on and we're very integrated with the city here and I think also I had quite a nice uh, professional career while I was here. I worked actually at a local estate agents which gave me great business training and I think the sort of three things together was, was very compelling because I, when I actually was applying for jobs I was able to sort of leverage the three pillars and sort of talk about personal, professional and academic development. Uh, which ultimately is one of the ways you can try and make yourself stand out when you're looking uh, for the right career opportunities.